so today we are going to discuss about uh, engineering graphics in that uh, the third unit is the projection of solids so in the before going to discuss about this topic what you call the projection of solids we should know about projection of points and projection of lines as well as projection of planes and finally the present topic is the projection of solids so as we discussed these three topics in our second unit that is orthographic projection so in that unit we discussed about these three topics so nen cheppedi endante projection of solids ee topic manaku raavali ante definitely ga ee three topics manaku clear ga vachi untene ee topic clear ga ardham aitadi so ee points lines planes anevi manam second unit lo discuss cheskunnam for example ivi ela oka dani tho oka dani interlink ayi untay ante nenu oka point teesukunna let us consider the a point for that taking another point oka two points teesukoni aa two points ni join chesthe em avutundi లైన్ ఫామ్ అవుతుంది ఓకే అంటే ఒక లైన్ ఫామ్ అవ్వాలి అంటే అది ఎలా ఫామ్ అవుతుంది విత్ ద హెల్ప్ ఆఫ్ ప్రొజెక్షన్ ఆఫ్ పాయింట్స్ ద హెల్ప్ ఆఫ్ పాయింట్స్ అదే నంబర్ ఆఫ్ లైన్స్ తీసుకున్నా ఐ మీన్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఫోర్ లైన్స్ తీసుకున్నా ఇప్పుడు ఏం ఫామ్ అయింది ప్లెయిన్ ఫామ్ అయింది అంటే ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇది మనకి చూడడానికి స్క్వేర్ గానే ఉంది బట్ స్క్వేర్ అంటే ప్రొజెక్షన్ ఆఫ్ ప్లెయిన్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ వట్ ఈస్ ప్లెయిన్ a plane is nothing but an object which is having two dimensions two dimensions lo unde prathi object ni manam plane antam so those objects are the best examples are a square a rectangle triangle etla etc so these are all called as planes so మనం స్టార్టింగ్ ఏం తీసుకున్నాం టూ పాయింట్స్ తీసుకున్నాం ఆ టూ పాయింట్స్ నుంచి లైన్ ఫామ్ అవుతుంది అంటే లైన్ కావాలి అంటే మనకి ఏ టాపిక్ కావాలి పాయింట్స్ టాపిక్ కావాలి సో ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ నో అబౌట్ ద టాపిక్ లైన్స్ యూ షుడ్ నో అబౌట్ పాయింట్స్ అది నెక్స్ట్ ప్లెయిన్ ప్లెయిన్ ఎలా ఫామ్ అయింది విత్ ద హెల్ప్ ఆఫ్ లైన్స్ అంటే ప్రొజెక్షన్ ఆఫ్ ప్లెయిన్స్ టాపిక్ రావాలి అంటే ఫస్ట్ మీకు లైన్స్ టాపిక్ రావాలి అండ్ ఐ ఎమ్ కన్సిడరింగ్ అనదర్ ప్లెయిన్ ఇంకొక ప్లెయిన్ తీసుకుంటున్నా ఆ రెండు ప్లేన్స్ ని జాయిన్ చేస్తున్నా ఇప్పుడు ఏం ఫామ్ అయింది సాలిడ్ ఫామ్ అయింది సో సాలిడ్ ఫామ్ కావాలి అంటే ఎలా ఫామ్ అవుతుంది బై జాయినింగ్ నంబర్ ఆఫ్ ప్లేన్స్ సో క్లియర్లీ దీస్ ఫోర్ ఆర్ ఇంటర్లింక్డ్ టాపిక్స్ అంటే ఫైనల్ గా మనకు వచ్చిన ఆబ్జెక్ట్ ఏంటి ఇది సాలిడ్ ఆ సాలిడ్ ఎక్కడి నుంచి ఫామ్ అయింది రెండు ప్లేన్స్ ని జాయిన్ చేయడం వల్ల సాలిడ్ ఫామ్ అయింది ప్లేన్ ఎక్కడి నుంచి ఫామ్ అయింది నంబర్ ఆఫ్ లైన్స్ ని జాయిన్ చేయడం వల్ల ప్లేన్ ఫామ్ అయింది లైన్ ఎక్కడి నుంచి ఫామ్ అయింది నంబర్ ఆఫ్ పాయింట్స్ ని జాయిన్ చేయడం వల్ల లైన్ ఫామ్ అయింది సో ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు నో అబౌట్ ద టాపిక్ ప్రొజెక్షన్ ఆఫ్ సాలిడ్ యూ షుడ్ డెఫినెట్లీ నో అబౌట్ ద ప్రొజెక్షన్ ఆఫ్ ప్లేన్స్ ఓకే అండ్ ప్రొజెక్షన్ ఆఫ్ ఇఫ్ యూ నో ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ నో అబౌట్ ద ప్రొజెక్షన్ ఆఫ్ ప్లేన్స్ దెన్ యూ షుడ్ డెఫినెట్లీ నో అబౌట్ ద టాపిక్ ప్రొజెక్షన్ ఆఫ్ లైన్స్ యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ వై యువర్ taking the projection of lines then you should definitely know about the topic projection of points so these four are interlinked topics and the projection of solids ravali ante planes ravali planes ravali ante lines ravali lines ravali ante points ravali okay now సో ఈ త్రీ టాపిక్స్ మనం ప్రీవియస్ క్లాస్ లోనే డిస్కస్ చేసుకున్నాం ప్రొజెక్షన్ ఆఫ్ పాయింట్స్ యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ లైన్స్ అండ్ ప్లేన్స్ నా అవర్ థర్డ్ యూనిట్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ సబ్జెక్ట్ ఈజ్ ప్రొజెక్షన్ ఆఫ్ సాలిడ్స్ సో ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ యాజ్ డిస్కస్ నా వట్ ఈస్ ప్లేన్ ఎ ప్లేన్ ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ అన్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ విచ్ ఈస్ హ్యావింగ్ టూ డైమెన్షన్ సో దట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ అ ప్లేన్ ప్లేన్ ఈజ్ డిఫైన్డ్ యాజ్ an object which is having two dimensions as well as now our topic is about the solids so here solid is defined as an object which is having three dimensions and the three dimensions lo unde object ni manam solid antam 
ओके आ थ्री डायमेंशन से मन को लेंथ ब्रेड हईट सो इधी थ्री डायमेंशन अं सालिड की बेस्ट एग्जापल क्यूब क्यूबाइड को सिलीर स्पीयर सो नंबर आफ एग्जापल ओके ना सो दिश अब सालिड सालिड इज डिफाइंड एज एन आबजेक्ट विच इज हाविंग थ्री डायमेंशन अंड द बेस्ट एग्जापल For the solid are cube, cuboid, cone, cylinder, sphere, hemisphere. So these are all the best examples of a solid. Now, classification or the types of solids. Types of solids. Now. Here the solids are mainly classified into three types. They are first one is polyhedron. And second one is solids of revolution. And here third one is Frustum and truncated solids. So these are uh, the main types or classifications of solids. What is what are they? First one is polyhedron. Second one is solids of revolution. As well as third one is frustum and truncated solids. So in that the first one, polyhedron. Polyhedron is nothing but A solid which is bounded by plane surfaces. अंते वो का solid अने दी different different plane surfaces नोची form होते हैं दिए। Best example, for example, if I am considering this object, this object is called as square prism. So ये दी solid object L into B into H three dimensions होने का बट ये object नहीं solid object अंडर हूँ। ये object की faces, for example, front view नोची yellow color face वाले को ये मंदी दी rectangle का कलर पड़ता हूँ। मतलब 3D object टाइम करने पर just front तो नहीं चुप जाओ जिससे it looks like as a rectangle. As well as if you turn this one and this this is also looks like a rectangle. So rectangles and they need two dimensions. The object which is having two dimensions is called as planes and in that the planes are mainly स्क्वेर रेक्टांगि ट्रयांगि सो इवन प्लेन का सो इक रेक्टांगि अभी प्लेन सर्फेस अंत हिर् पॉलीहेड्रम इज नथिंग बट एन आबजेक्ट आर् दालिड विच ईज बउंडेड बै प्लेन सर्फेस सो दिश आबजेक्ट इज कॉल ऐस पॉलीहेड्र सो हियर इन द मेन क्लासीफिकेशन आफ पॉलीहेड्र आर् द बेस्ट एग्जापल आफ पॉलीहेड्र आर् टेट्राहेड्रन क्यूब ऑक्टाहेड्रन प्रिज्म एंड पिरामिड सो दीज आर द बेस्ट एग्जांपल ऑफ पॉलीहेड्रन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टेट्राहेड्रन The object or the solid which is bounded by four plane surfaces, as we know that the tetra means four. So a solid which is bounded by four plane surfaces is called as a tetrahedron. And as we know that cube, cube is having six faces. So a solid which is bounded by six plane surfaces is called as a cube. As well as a prism and a pyramid. These are very very important topics. Very very important. Terms in our engineering graphics, especially in projection of solids. So, you want to clear, you want to know clearly about prism and pyramid. So, first, I am going to discuss about prism. Prism is defined as an object or the solid which is having two same ends, and the The two same ends are parallel to each other. For example, I am considering this one. So, this object is having a top end and a bottom end. So now observe this one. The bottom end looks like as a square. 
as well as the top end is also looks like as a square so these two ends are same objects i mean same in shape so as well as these two shapes are parallel to each other then this type of object is called as a prism ante oka solid ki top and bottom end ante paina and kinda a rendu objects kuda same shape lo unte aa shape unna bodies ni aa shape unna solids ni prisms antu and we also know about the difference between a prism and a pyramid so for example if we are considering this one now observe this one the bottom end looks like as square but the top end having a sharp edge but it is doesn't looks like as square so this is pyramid now the definition for pyramid is the body or the solid which is having the true shape or the plane and base end plane at base end and the sharp edge at another end this type of solid or this type of object is called as a pyramid so rendity ki difference endante prisms lo isukunte top end bottom end rendu same shapes untayi i mean for example ikkada chudandi rendu squares unnai for example ee object isukunnam ikkada kuda em undi bottom end lo pentagon undi and top end lo kuda pentagon undi so rendu same shapes unnai kabatti deenni prisms antaru adhe ee object chusinattaithe bottom end lo pentagon shape undi but top end lo sharp edge undi aa sharp edge unte aa object ni pyramids antaru and ee prisms ki pyramids ki names ela identify cheyali for example how can we identify the names of these prisms and pyramid now observe this one so the bottom end is a pentagon as well as the top end is a pentagon okay now the name of this prism is called as a pentagonal prism why because the top and bottom ends are pentagons so simply it is called as a pentagonal prism now the name of this object so the top end is looks like as a square and the bottom end is also looks like as square so then it is called as a square prism now observe this one the bottom end is looks like as a square as well as the top end is also looks like as a, what you called hexagon it is also hexagon so simply it is called as a hexagonal prism so observe this one the bottom end is looks like as pentagon and the top end is having a sharp edge ante ఒక ఎండ్ లో ట్రూ షేప్ ఆర్ ప్లేన్ ఉంది ఇంకొక ఎండ్ లో షార్ప్ ఎడ్జ్ ఉంటే వీటిని పిరమిడ్స్ అంటాము బట్ దీని నేమ్ ఎలా ఐడెంటిఫై చేస్తామంటే ఆ బాటమ్ ఎండ్ లో ఏ షేప్ అయితే ఉందో ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఈ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ కి బాటమ్ ఎండ్ లో పిరమిడ్ ఒకటి కాల్డ్ పెంటగన్ ఉంది సో సింప్లీ ఇట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ పెంటగనల్ పిరమిడ్ నో సే ఆ బాటమ్ ఎండ్ లో స్క్వేర్ ఉంది పైన షార్ప్ ఎడ్జ్ ఉంది సో దీని నేమ్ ఏంటిది స్క్వేర్ పిరమిడ్ as well as the object is looks like as hexagon at bottom end and sharp edge at another end so simply it is called as hexagonal pyramid so as well as this one bottom end is having a triangle as well as the sharp end at another end so simply it is called as a triangular pyramid so as you clear about uh, the difference between uh, prisms and uh, pyramids so prism is nothing but the object which is having same shapes at both ends and pyramid is pyramid is defined as the object which is having plane at bottom end and uh, having a sharp edge at another end so this is called as a pyramid now so this is about polyhedron next second one is solids of revolution so simply it is defined as the plane surface which is revolved at one end the plane surface which is revolved at one end the best examples are 
this one cone this is having a plane surface which is revolved at another end as well as cylinder is also the best example for the objects which are having a circular shape those are all comes under solids of revolution okay now third one is fluster and truncated solids Frustum and truncated solids. Now, so first one is frustum solid. Frustum solid is defined as if I am taking an object or solid. So this is called as a triangular prism. Now, if I am cutting this object parallel to the base, so the base is this one. If I am cutting exact parallel to the base of this object, then this type of solid is called as frustum solid. If I am taking here an object, now the base of this object is this one. If I am cutting the object parallel to the base, so like this so then this type of a solid is called as a frustum solid again i am taking the same object now i am cutting this object inclined to the base so the base is here horizontal and this one is inclined so then this type of a solid is called as a truncated solids the main difference here frustum is nothing but cutting an object parallel to the base as well as a truncated is defined as an object cutting inclined to the base. If the base is cutting plane, if it is not parallel, it is not frustum solid. And here the base cutting plane, if it is not inclined, it is not solid, it is truncated solid. Okay? Now write down a question. A triangular prism, a triangular prism, a triangular prism of base side 50 mm, a triangular prism of base side 50 mm and axis 50 mm long and axis 50 mm long rest with its base on HP rest with its base on HP that is base on HP rest with its base on HP such that such that one of its rectangular faces one of its rectangular faces nearer to VP nearer to VP is parallel is parallel and is parallel and 8 mm 8 mm in front of it 8 mm 
in front of it parallel and 8 mm in front of it then draw its projections then draw its projections now so the main key points in this question are these now first one what is the question given in the problem what is the object a triangular prism so this is triangular prism an object which is having two equal ends two same ends so now observe this base is uh, triangle as well as top is also having triangle so it is called as a triangular prism now in the problem it is given that the base side is 50 mm so let us assume in that the side each side of this triangular prism is having 50 mm as well as the axis axis is nothing but the height of this object it is also given that how much 50 mm now Assume that the base is resting on HP. So the triangular face, the triangular prism, which is having two bases. So one of the base is resting on HP. So considering this one as a horizontal plane and this one as vertical plane, as we discussed in projection of planes, lines and points. Now taking the object which is resting on HP. Now, the problem it is also given that one of its rectangular face parallel. So, observe this one. A triangular prism. Now, observe only from front view. So, it looks like as a rectangle. And observe this one. This is also looks like as a rectangle. And this is also looks like as a rectangle. So, this object is having three rectangular faces. One is in blue color and orange color, yellow color. So, these three are rectangular faces and in the problem it is given that one of its rectangular faces is parallel and 8 mm in front of it. That is in front of VP. So, it is parallel to VP and 8 mm in front of VP. Parallel to VP is nothing but let us considering this object like this. So this is VP. This vertical plane is VP. So simply this yellow color object looks like as rectangle. Now this rectangular plane is perpendicular to VP. It looks like. If you put object in place, this yellow color on a rectangular face VP ki perpendicular ka place. But manaki problem lo emi chadu rectangular face is parallel to VP. And this is a rectangular face. Any one of total how many rectangular faces are here? Three rectangular faces. A three rectangular faces lo. This is a rectangular face. VP ki exact parallel ga undari. For example, ila this coach object. Or ila in this coach. So total three rectangular faces lo. Ila in this coach. But this is a rectangular face matram. VP ki parallel ga undari. And it is also given that it is 8 mm in front of it. And a VP nunchi object ki distance in tundali 8 mm and E gap. E gap 8 mm to just go now. So, this is the object given in the problem. Now, what about its front and top views? It put projections draw jayal. Projections are nothing but front and top views. If front and top views draw jayal. Now, observe this one. What is the condition? Lo, manam first place just now. Prism is triangular prism. The base side is axis is and it is simply resting on HP. And the second condition is one of its rectangular face parallel to VP. So, this condition lo place just now. Tarvata projections draw jayal. So, a projection 70 front view top view. If you put front view, a angle nuju juice te, e angle nuju juice te, front view nuju juice te. Manak object tela gan parthundi, even gan parthundi ekada, e blue color di gan parthundi, as well as ekada na orange color di object to gada gan parthundi. And any lines gan parthundi, this one is one line, and here second line, and here third line. Total three lines unnai, and two boxes unnai. So, Rough ga mir prati problem ki answer draw jay shay mundu Rough ga front view yala gan parthundi Top view yala gan parthundi yane di draw jay shay mundu Ila nega manak gan padhe di E middle line iti E end line ikkadu nadi And E end line 
ఓకే సో ఇది ఏ వ్యూ ఫ్రంట్ వ్యూ అంటే మీరు ఆబ్జెక్ట్ ని ఫ్రంట్ వ్యూ నుంచి చూస్తే ఇలా కనబడుతుంది దెన్ వాట్ అబౌట్ టాప్ వ్యూ టాప్ వ్యూ అంటే ఈ యాంగిల్ నుంచి చూడాలి ఇది టాప్ వ్యూ ఇక్కడ ఉన్నదిగా ఈ ఫేస్ సో టాప్ వ్యూ నుంచి చూస్తే ఇలా కనబడుతుంది మనకు ఇది ట్రయాంగ్యులర్ ఫేస్ కనబడుతుంది సో సేమ్ ఇలా కనబడుతుంది ఆబ్జెక్ట్ సో దిస్ వన్ ఈజ్ టాప్ వ్యూ ఓకే సో యాజ్ పర్ ద కండిషన్స్ గివెన్ ఇన్ ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ the front view looks like as a rectangle with one line in middle as well as the top view looks like as a triangle now draw this front view and top view first considering a reference line x y now ఇప్పుడు ఏ వ్యూ డ్రా చేయాలి ఫస్ట్ మనము ఇక్కడ మనం స్టార్టింగ్ లో ప్లేన్స్ లైన్స్ లో డిస్కస్ చేసుకున్నాం ఇలా ఫ్రంట్ వ్యూ ఒకటి టాప్ వ్యూ ఒకటి షేప్స్ వచ్చినప్పుడు మనం ఏ వ్యూ ఫస్ట్ డ్రా చేయాలి అంటే టూ షేప్ ఈ టూ ఆబ్జెక్ట్స్ లలో టూ షేప్ ఎక్కడైతే ఉందో ఆ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ ఫస్ట్ డ్రా చేయాలి సో హియర్ అవర్ క్వశ్చన్ ఈజ్ అబౌట్ ట్రయాంగ్యులర్ ప్రిజం ఓకే నా వట్ ఈస్ అ ట్రూ షేప్ హియర్ ట్రయాంగిల్ సో ట్రయాంగ్యులర్ ప్రిజం కాబట్టి ఇక్కడ ట్రూ షేప్ ట్రయాంగిల్ అదే హెక్సాగోనల్ ప్రిజం తీసుకుంటే ట్రూ షేప్ హెక్సాగన్ పెంటాగోనల్ ప్రిజం తీసుకుంటే ట్రూ షేప్ పెంటాగన్ సో అలాగే ఇక్కడ ట్రూ షేప్ ఏముంది ఇప్పుడు ట్రయాంగిల్ సో ట్రయాంగిల్ ఉంది కాబట్టి ఇప్పుడు మనకు ట్రయాంగిల్ ఎక్కడ అబ్జర్వ్ చేస్తున్నాం ఇది మనము టాప్ వ్యూ లో అబ్జర్వ్ చేస్తున్నాం సో ఫస్ట్ టాప్ వ్యూ డ్రా చేయాలి ఓకే ఫస్ట్ టాప్ వ్యూ డ్రా చేయాలి మనం స్టార్టింగ్ లో పాయింట్స్ లైన్స్ టాపిక్స్ లలో డిస్కస్ చేసుకున్నాం టాప్ వ్యూ డ్రా చేయాలి అంటే ఏ పాయింట్ చూడాలి మనము విపి పాయింట్ అబ్జర్వ్ చేయాలి నో అబ్జర్వ్ విపి పాయింట్ ఇన్ ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ గివెన్ దట్ విపి పాయింట్ ఏమి ఇచ్చాడు ఎయిట్ ఎంఎం ఇన్ ఫ్రంట్ ఆఫ్ ఎయిట్ దట్ ఈస్ ఎయిట్ ఎంఎం ఇన్ ఫ్రంట్ ఆఫ్ విపి మన ప్రాబ్లమ్ లో ఇచ్చాడు సో ఎయిట్ ఎంఎం అండ్ ఇన్ ఫ్రంట్ ఆఫ్ విపి అంటే ఎక్కడ డ్రా చేయాలి అనేది మనం ప్రొజెక్షన్ ఆఫ్ పాయింట్స్ లో డిస్కస్ చేసుకున్నాం in front of vp is nothing but below the reference line how much distance it is 8 mm so take a distance of 8 mm first mark the distance and just draw a very thin line should be drawn with 2h pencil okay now so 8 mm distance tarvata mana top view undali top view distance idi top view triangle manaku observe aitundi so triangle draw cheyali ante ikkada sizes em ichadu triangle of prism base side enta 50 mm first draw a horizontal line with thick pencil hb pencil a distance of 50 mm now so e two sides kuda 50 mm better take one compass and measure on measure the distance of 50 mm on your scale just take the two arcs from here midpoint taking from here take an arc as well as from here take an arc just to meet these two arcs then you may getting like this okay so this is one and just to project all these corners so this corner and this corner so these projections from here to here projection as well as this projection and this projection these are these are should be very thin only uh, the thick portion is the top view of the object so this should be only in thick portion okay now just to project all these points then what about the front view the front view looks like as a rectangle with one line okay now so as we discussed in the projection of points lines and planes so front view draw cheyali ante a point chudal ani cheppina manamu hp point chudali problem lo em ichadu hp point its base on hp manam projection of points lo discuss chestunnam on hp ante ikkada draw cheyali on reference line so idega reference line so exact reference line paina ee base iskunnam and what is the height of this triangular prism how much it is axis is 50 mm now take the distance of 50 mm as well as this line is also having same length so just to close this one put mana ko thick portions lo undalche only front and top views ee object thick ga undali and ikkada unna triangular object thick ga undali ee remaining projection lines unna chusara ee very thin ga undali ikkada nunchi ee projection lines ఇక్కడ ఉన్న ఈ ప్రొజెక్షన్ లైన్ వెరీ థింగ్ గా ఉండాలి మనకు ఆబ్జెక్ట్ క్లియర్ గా కనపడాలి అంటే ఏం కనపడాలి అంటే ట్రయాంగిల్ ఒకటి అండ్ ఇక్కడ ఉన్న రెక్టాంగిల్ ఒకటి అవి రెండే మనకు క్లియర్ గా విజిబుల్ లో ఉండాలి 
Then, what about the points? If you diagram again, distance is different. If you read distance, the arrow heads should be very thin and very sharp. And don't write mm. Just uh, write only numeric. That is eight. And as well as the height of or the axis height is given in the problem. How much it is? Fifty mm. Just write it as fifty. And the length of or the base side is how much it is also fifty. And arrowheads should be very sharp. Okay. Now, what are the points here? Now observe this one. So. This object take a manam this kind of thing. If you do, manam discuss just kind of prism and take two ends of the same shape under the manam discuss just kind of. For example, top end line manam triangle under A B C points and bottom end lo A B C points. So first considering from here point A, point B, point C. Then what about the base points? The base points under this kind of manam the same corresponding points under this kind of but difference two pair under the. इकड़ A दीज कुन्टे, bottom end लो A1 consider जीज कुन्टे, so here A and here A1 corresponding to this one, and here B at bottom B1, and here C at bottom C1, now, इपड़ मनम E view नुँच observe जीज कुन्टे, front view, अंटे इवेग मनम draw जीज कुन्टे, इकड़ E points नुँच मनकु, एवेम गन पड़त्तो ने इकड़ जुड़ेंटे, point A उन्दी, point B उन्दी, इकड़ point C उन्दी, this one is A and here B and here C. Now, when I put a discuss just kuna, A exact corresponding lo kinda ever under and jipina manamu A1. So here B1 and here C1. So here A1, B1 and C1. So, in the A view, we have observed the front view. We have projection of points in the topic we have discussed in the previous second unit. Front views are indicated small letters with dashes. So, A dash, B dash, C dash. A1 dash, B1 dash, C1 dash. Front views are always denoted with small letters with dashes. Like this A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, so that etc. And top views are represented just to number number directly letters A small letters A B C D and the side views are represented A double dash B double dash C double dash D double dash so like this now so the front view is over now what about the top view if you top view observe जाएंगे top view नीचे अंते E view नीचे जो सुनर मेरी E view नीचे जो से white triangle और shape बन्दिगा इक्कर नीचे मेरे को even points गन पड़ तो नहीं this one is A B, C. If you have a front view, you can see the points. So, this one is A and here B and here C. Okay, E objects are going to be done. Then, if you have only top and observe this, you can see the triangle here. The base is going to be done in the base. So, you can see the height. So, the height is going to be done in the point. So, you can see the A1, B1, C1. So, you can see the top view here in the top view. अंदर का नहीं हाई डे यू ना पॉइंट्स नहीं ब्रैकेट्स पर दिस कुन्ना फॉर एग्जांपल माना मिंदा के एवं दिस कुन्ना दिस वन इज कंसीडरिंग एस ए वन बी आई मीन ए बी सी ए वन बी वन सी वन ये पुट टॉप यू नंचे अब्जर्व जेस थे इधी ए बी नी के एक्सेक्ट स्ट्राइट लो एवरन तर पॉइंट ए मुन्ता दी ए here the point T is B. The corresponding low on the point in the bottom low B1. This is good high day. Just one of the three points again. But the high day on the points name of this one. Brackets or as well. B in the brackets B1. As well as this one C. And the corresponding to this one C1. So C in the brackets C1. Every point. A points of projection. And here B projections as well as C projections. Now take this diagram. And listen here, this diagram is drawn as you can see, you can see every diagram in the first rough curve, you can see the front view, and the top 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 view, every diagram, every question, you can see the rough curve, right side, you can see the fire diagram, the fire diagram, the fire diagram, the fire diagram, the fire diagram,
draw these two rough diagrams at the right corner of your notes and these are main diagrams. Right on. Next to one, next to problem. A triangular prism, a triangular prism of base side thirty mm. A triangular prism of base side 30 mm 30. Triangular prism of base side 30 mm and height 50 mm. Triangular prism and here base side 30 mm. And height and height how much fifty five zero mm height fifty mm Rest with its base on HP. Rest with its base on HP. Rest with its base on HP. Such that, such that one of its rectangular faces is one of its rectangular faces is one of its rectangular faces is perpendicular to VP one of its rectangular faces is perpendicular to VP one of its rectangular faces is perpendicular to VP then draw its projections Draw its projections. Draw its projections. The nearest edge parallel to VP is the nearest edge parallel to VP is ten mm in front of it. The nearest edge parallel to VP is 10 mm in front of it. Ten mm in front of it. Now, so this is the given data here. Same problem that is triangular prism which is having the base side so the two ends are same so this is called as triangular prism 
and here the each side of this base is 30 mm and height of this triangular prism is 50 mm now it is resting on hp resting on hp how it is resting one of its rectangular faces is perpendicular to vp observe this one as we discussed in the previous problem one of its rectangular faces is parallel to vp ante ila place chesam manam edo oka face edo oka rectangular face vp ki parallel ga undali ani place chesam ippudu condition em ichadu edo oka rectangular face vp ki perpendicular ga undali ante idi for example ila rectangular face chesukunte idi vp vertical plane ila undi ee vertical plane ikkada unnadi rectangular face ela undi horizontal i mean horizontal plane lo undi so simply these two are perpendicular to each other ante idi mana condition one of its rectangular face is perpendicular to vp parallel to vp ante ila perpendicular to vp ante ivu chudandi ippudu ee orange color lo unna rectangular face vp ki exact perpendicular lo undi so ila place chindi and the nearest edge parallel to vp ikkada ee edge undi ga ee edge ela undi vp ki parallel ga undi aa parallel ga unna vp nunchi position etlu undali 10 mm in front 10 mm distance lo undali idi 10 mm distance lo iskunna okay now what about its front view ipudu observe cheyandi ipudu front view ela ganapadutundi only yellow color rectangular box varike ganapadutundi mee ee object ikkada nunchi ee position nunchi chuste only observing only you are observing a rectangular plane which is in a low color just only we are having a rectangular box a view lo idi front view lo so front view looks like as a rectangle then what about top view top view lo undi triangle triangle lo ikkada ee corner lo straight undi ila undi triangle a view idi top view okay now by observing these two views considering a, a reference line x y now which view we need to draw first either top view or front view so we need to draw top view why because it is in the true shape so that's why we are taking the first top view that is in triangular shape so ఏ వ్యూ డ్రా చేస్తున్నాం మనము టాప్ వ్యూ డ్రా చేస్తున్నాం టాప్ వ్యూ డ్రా చేస్తున్నాం కాబట్టి మనం ఇందాక ఏం డిస్కస్ చేసుకున్నాం టాప్ వ్యూ డ్రా చేయాలంటే ఏ పాయింట్ చూడాలి విపి పాయింట్ చూడాలి ఏం ఇచ్చాడు విపి పాయింట్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ లో టెన్ ఎంఎం ఇన్ ఫ్రంట్ ఆఫ్ విపి విపికి టెన్ ఎంఎం ఇన్ ఫ్రంట్ ఉండాలి అంటే ఇన్ ఫ్రంట్ అంటే మనం ప్రీవియస్ డిస్కస్ చేసుకున్నాం ఇన్ ఫ్రంట్ ఆఫ్ విపి అంటే బిలో ద రిఫరెన్స్ లైన్ దెన్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద డిస్టెన్స్ ఇయర్ టెన్ ఎంఎం డిస్టెన్స్ తీసుకున్నాం ఓకే ఆర్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇక్కడ ఈ కార్నర్ నుంచి కూడా సేమ్ టెన్ ఎంఎం డిస్టెన్స్ తీసుకున్నాం డిస్టెన్స్ తర్వాత ఇక్కడ మనం టాప్ వ్యూ డ్రా చేస్తున్నాం టాప్ వ్యూ డ్రా చేయాలంటే ఈ లైన్ లెంత్ ఎంత వట్ ఈస్ ద లెంత్ ఆఫ్ సైడ్ ఆఫ్ ట్రయాంగులర్ ప్రిజమ్ హౌ మచ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ థర్టీ నా టేక్ లెంత్ ఆఫ్ థర్టీ ఎంఎం ఓకే సో ఈ లైన్ జాయినింగ్ ఎలా ఉండాలి వెరీ థిన్ గా ఉండాలి ఇది మనకి టాప్ వ్యూ కాదు టాప్ వ్యూ ఎక్కడి నుంచి ఈ పొజిషన్ నుంచి టాప్ వ్యూ ఈ డిస్టెన్స్ టెన్ ఎంఎం అనేది జస్ట్ ప్రొజెక్షన్ లైన్ అండ్ and here the length of this one is how much it is 30 mm okay now same take a distance of 30 mm on your compass and take as the center this one as well as for this one center taking two arcs ఆక్స్ వచ్చిన మీట్ అయిన పాయింట్ నుంచి కూడా పైకి ప్రొజెక్ట్ చేయండి దిస్ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో షుడ్ బి వెరీ థింగ్ అంటే థిక్ గా ఎక్కడ ఉండాలి ఓన్లీ టాప్ వ్యూ వరకే ఆబ్జెక్ట్ థిక్ గా ఉండాలి సో రిమైనింగ్ పోర్షన్ థిన్ గా ఉండాలి నా ఇది టాప్ వ్యూ అయిపోయింది దెన్ వాట్ అబౌట్ ఫ్రంట్ వ్యూ ఫ్రంట్ వ్యూ లుక్స్ లైక్ యాజ్ ఎ రెక్టాంగిల్ సో ఫ్రంట్ వ్యూ డ్రా చేయాలి అంటే ఏ పాయింట్ చూడాలి ఇప్పుడు హెచ్పి పాయింట్ చూడాలి టాప్ వ్యూ ఈస్ నథింగ్ బట్ విబి పాయింట్ అండ్ ఇయర్ ఫ్రంట్ వ్యూ ఈస్ నథింగ్ బట్ హెచ్పి పాయింట్ ఓకే సో ఫ్రంట్ వ్యూ డ్రా చేసాం అంటే హెచ్పి పాయింట్ చూడాలి ఆ హెచ్పి పాయింట్ ఏమి ఇచ్చాడు ప్రాబ్లమ్ లో ఆన్ హెచ్పి ఆన్ హెచ్పి అంటే ఎక్కడ డ్రా చేయాలి ఫ్రంట్ వ్యూ ఆన్ రిఫరెన్స్ లైన్ సో ఇది రిఫరెన్స్ లైన్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్ టేకింగ్ ఆన్ రిఫరెన్స్ లైన్ దిస్ డిస్టెన్స్ 
as well as then what is the height of this rectangle given in the problem that is 50 mm and this one is also 50 so here the distance is 50 mm now points library very very important you could have points each any concept now same positions if I am taking, we are going to start just no problem. Starting from here, A, B, C. Or starting from here, A, B, C. Or starting from here, A, B, C. No problem. I am going to start just now. For example, if I am starting from here, A, B, C. Corresponding to this one, A1, B1, C1. So, what about the top view looks like as triangle. So, if I am considering this point as A. And this one as B. And this one as C. This top view. The height of the triangle and the base flow of the triangle is not the same. But here are the points. We will draw the brackets in the brackets. So, what is the exact bracket flow? What is the point? A1. So, A in the brackets A1. B in the brackets B1. And here C in the brackets C1. As well as, what about the front view? Front view to adjust to the point only E shape for the point. That is why we have a point in the point. That is the point. That is the point. That is the point. That is the corresponding point A1. So here A and A1. This front view is the point. Front view is the dash. A dash A1 dash. Now, here is the point A, B, C. That is the point A, B, C. पाइना B1 उन्हें, I mean B उन्हें, इकड़ा B1 उन्हें, so here B dash and at the bottom B1 dash. Then what about the C points? C points ऐकड़ उन्हें exact B points की opposite लोग उन्हें, अभी corresponding. अब तो C points मरक front view उन्हें ची कनपने टेल दो, so कनपने टेल दो जो ऐकड़ रहा है नहीं, brackets लो रहा है नहीं, so B के exact straight का C उन्हें दिखा बटी B dash in the brackets C dash. B dash in the brackets C dash and here B1 dash in the brackets C1 dash. So these are the points. Okay, now take this diagram. First, you take these rough diagrams at the right side of your page. Write down next one. Draw, draw the projections of, draw the projections of a square prism. Draw the projections of a square prism of base 
थर्टी एम एम ड्रॉ द प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ ए स्क्वेर प्रिजम ऑफ बेस थर्टी एम एम एंड हाइट फिफ्टी एम एम सो नाउ द स्क्वेर प्रिजम बेस थर्टी हाइट फिफ्टी एम एम resting its base on hp resting its base on hp such that such that one of its rectangular faces one of its rectangular faces one of its rectangular faces is perpendicular to vp is perpendicular to vp so the nearest edge the nearest edge parallel to vp the nearest edge parallel to vp is 5 mm in front of it is 5 mm in front of it me that is vp 5 mm in front of it 5 mm in front of it the nearest edge parallel to vp is 5 mm in front of it no so what is the problem here square prism this one is a square prism having a top end square and also bottom is in also square so this one is a square prism now which is having a base side 30 mm and here height of this square prism is how much it is 50 mm now in the problem it is given that a square prism is resting its base on hp so edo oka base ila place chesina no problem ila place chesina no problem now its base is resting on hp and second condition em ichadu one of its rectangular face now observe how many rectangular faces are here this one edo oka rectangular face yellow color orange color idu kuda oka rectangular face so this one blue color as well as green color so four rectangular faces unnai ee object ki So the problem it is given that one of its rectangular face should be perpendicular to vp and the e four rectangular faces no edo oka rectangular face vp ki idi vp so vp ki perpendicular ga undali for example ila place chestunna ipudu idi oka rectangular face ga blue color lo unnadi ee rectangular face lo unna blue color lo unna face vp ki ela undi parallel ga undi सो मन की कंडीशन पर्पंडक्युर् उन्नी फेज उ एनी वन आफ द रेक्टांगुर् फेज एदो इन जस्ट अबर्व आरेंज कलर फेज आरेंज कलर रेक्टांगुर् फेज सो इधा इन वीपी की वीपी की एग्जाक्ट पर्पंडक्युर् ब्लू कलर देमो पारल ऐसी रेक्टांग ई मीन आरेंज कलर देमो पर्पंडक्युर् सो मन कंडीशन साफाई चाल मन कंडीशन प्रकार one of its rectangular face should be perpendicular to vp ante edo oka rectangular face vp ki perpendicular ga undali ante remaining ela unna no problem remaining faces for example idu chudandi orange color di perpendicular ga undi blue color di parallel ga undi so idi parallel ga unna inclined ga unna no problem mana condition idu okati satisfy aithe chalu idu oka edo oka face vp ki rectangular ga undali aa undi next condition endi 5 mm in front of vp idi parallel ga unna rectangular face anedi ఇది బ్లూ కలర్ ఫేస్ ఎంత డిస్టెన్స్ లో ఉండాలి 5 mm డిస్టెన్స్ లో ఉండాలి ఇది మన ప్రాబ్లం దెన్ వాట్ అబౌట్ ఫ్రంట్ అండ్ టాప్ వ్యూస్ ఫ్రంట్ వ్యూ ఎలా కనబడుతుంది ఫ్రంట్ వ్యూ అంటే మీ వ్యూ నుంచి చూస్తే ఓన్లీ yellow కలర్ ఫేస్ వరకే కనబడుతుంది అంటే ఇట్ లుక్స్ లైక్ యాజ్ ఏ రెక్టాంగిల్ ఏ వ్యూ ఇది ఫ్రంట్ వ్యూ దెన్ వాట్ అబౌట్ టాప్ వ్యూ టాప్ వ్యూ నుంచి ఎలా కనబడుతుంది స్క్వేర్ షేప్ అనుకో so in front and top view so draw shape so for that taking a reference line xy so a view draw cheyali ippudu manam front view draw cheyalana top view draw cheyalana 
top we draw here and the two shape is name it the square prism so square is in the top view on the property first square triangle but a view is the top view in the top view draw here and a point to the first vp point to the vp point to the problem of find them in in front of vp in front of vp is nothing but below the reference line how much distance it is 5 mm distance mark a distance of 5 mm and take a very thin line then what about the top view top view looks like a square then each side of the square is 30 mm so take 30 mm here four sides 30 mm 30 mm now just to project this one is also should be very thin like this so this one is about the top view then what about the front view the front view looks like as a rectangle so front view draw here and a point you draw here hp point to draw here hp point to which are on hp that is on reference line on reference line and here we draw this one square side over the 30 which is then height and the problem we draw 50 So we have to project this here. Next, points are live value. Here we go. The object. We are starting at the beginning of the points. Starting from here, A, B, C, D. We are starting from here, A, B, C, D. So we are starting from here, A, B, C, D. For example, if I am taking points like this, A, B, C, D. Or from here, A, B, C, D. So we are starting from here, A, B, C, D. C, D. Good morning, top view line and put the points here. Here four points here and put the corresponding one here. Here the corresponding line is A1. This one is B and here corresponding point is B1. So, here points here and put the points here. A, B, C, D. So, this one is A, B, C, D. Then what are the corresponding points? A and the exact opposite is A1. But the top view is the height and the height. So A, B, C, D. In the brackets. So A, B, C, D. 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 So this one is the top view. Then what about the front view? If you front view, you see only orange color face work. But here we have the point segment. We have the top view on A, B, C, D. And A and D are the back side. We have the front view on the point segment. B and C. Here we have the B. This one is B. And this one is C. So front view is the B dash, C dash. But here we have the corresponding view on the B and the C dash. B1. So here B1 dash and here C1 dash. Okay. This is front face low. My corresponding back side low under it. E points. If it points, if man this could have done. My E points are even under it. E point even this could have been B. So this is exact corresponding low even the point B. This or it could have been clear. Because you are looking at this is top view. This top view is front view. Because you are looking at this position. You are looking at this. If we are going to look at the B, B1 points, we are visible to the back side of the A, A1 points are hide. So, here we have B dash, the exact back side of the A. So, B dash in the brackets A dash, B1 dash in the brackets A1 dash. And here, here we have C points, the exact back side of the A is D. So, C dash in the brackets F. D dash and here C1 dash in the brackets D1 dash. Okay, now what are the distances here? How much distance it is? 50 mm. And here gap is how much? In front of VP distance 5 mm. Okay, and the square prism is having a distance of 30 mm. Okay, take this.
Thank <laughs> you.